if someone gives an intentional and purposeful overdose of pain medication to a suffering person with the hope of ending life, then that act is clearly euthanasia. But most people do not fall in that scenario. Most people have goodwill and want to do the right thing and make sure their loved one isn't suffering. And so here's a helpful principle for such situations. The level of pain medication can be given to match the level of the person's pain. In applying this principle to people who are suffering intensely, it may happen that the pain medication will cause the loss of mental capacity and hasten the person's death. In such a case, the deciding factor for the moral status of the person or proxy's action is whether the intention was to either take life or to solely lessen pain, even if there was the foreseeable but unintended consequence of the loss of life. If the intention was to solely relieve pain and these efforts actually caused the hastening of death, then the act is within moral truth. There is no guilt. The reason why is because the pain medication did not cause the person's death. His initial illness or disease caused his death. The pain medication attempted to treat the pain caused by the illness or disease and in that effort unintentionally hastened the person's death. If the intention in giving the pain medication, however, was to take life, then it becomes an act of euthanasia. It violates clear boundaries of moral truth. There is guilt, since the intention was to cause death with the pain medication. In distinguishing between the two possibilities, it's important to emphasize the focus on moral truth, which is to both honor the person's dignity and to proportionately relieve his pain.